Hello, my Virgos. Let's see what we need to know for the month of August for my Virgos. Virgos, Virgos. What does my Virgos need to know? Interesting here, interesting. Virgos. All right, my Virgos. So this is your first card. This represents uh, manifesting. This is about making, she's a witch. This is the witch, of course. She's stirring up her own, her own energy to create a spell. And she's trying to manipulate the energy that is around her. In other words, this is reminding that you can manifest the things that you want in your life. You just got to speak it, put it into the universe, believe it, and you bring it in. But you also have to feel it as well as it's already here. So at this time, I feel like you're going to be bringing new things into your life. Okay. And then we have this card. This represents feelings, somebody expressing their feelings to you. Um, and it could be about like you're trying not to pay attention to them, but you know that they have their feelings, but they're going to be expressing their feelings. Um, and this is about feeling tied down to a certain situation. And it could have to do with this person that wants to express their feelings to you. And it could be um, something that's going to really kind of bother you. Okay. And then you have this. This is about. This is about unnecessary worry. So if you're worried about something, you've got this anxiety, and it could be depression as well. And then you have this card. This is about celebration. Um, it is about things that you could be celebrating, a birthday, a wedding, an anniversary, but it is about celebrating that, um, having that energy of celebration. And um, it also, though, could represent um, something about three people in your life. Okay. Now, this is about somebody from your past. So, I feel like there is somebody from your past that's going to come into your life. It's like you're manifesting this energy, though. So, watch out what you think, how you speak, what you're putting towards this person. You're giving them this energy that's going to make you, um, they want to express their feelings to you. I feel like, though, this is in, you're in a situation where you aren't trying to manifest them into your life but you are okay and with this it, it, it gives you this certain type of feeling like you're tied down to this cer certain situation and you feel a little trapped with this okay so you're feeling a little bit of um, energy that you're not wanting so I feel like you're pulling that energy into you okay and it's like you're you're worried about it you have anxiety about it you're kind of thinking you know what is what is going on but I feel like it's somebody from your past that you are trying to disconnect from maybe and it is giving you this energy that um, you're worried about it I don't know if you're in another relationship this is somebody from your past in a past relationship but I feel like you're bringing this energy in so be aware be positive think positive keep that positive energy into your life but what you think and how you feel all of that energy is going out into the universe and coming back to you so be aware of that um, each and everything that we we uh, speak it is putting that energy into the universe okay so be aware of that and then you have this you feel a little bit like this person has really uh, treated you wrong they didn't give you the respect or they made it cheated on you um, but this is about making a change it's like changing things in your life to create this energy of worry this energy of being tied down um, and and you're trying to break that energy okay you will change something about that okay you will have that ability now you have these people that are around you at this time this could be a workplace it could be friends it could be something that um, some of you also might have something that you're ch wanting to change like the people that you are around you're hanging around maybe there's other people that are in your life that you are going to change that uh, feeling of 
maybe a certain situation that is not healthy for you, okay? So be aware of the people that are around you now, um, but make changes. If you feel like they are negative people, if they make you in a negative type of way, if there's something that brings the bad out in you, sometimes we gotta think about those people that were around that create us to be in that certain type of energy of being stuck. Okay, so we got to make ourselves move, make a change. Okay, and then we have this. This could represent somebody that you feel very, um, you feel respectful to. You feel like uh, they are, they bring you some type of energy that is good for you. This also could be somebody of law. It could be a priest. It could be a minister. It could be somebody that's. Um, you know somebody that you just look up to okay it could be somebody that you find very sexually attracted to as well this also could remind you to stay connected to nature stay connected to reality okay sometimes we get locked up in these certain situations and we kind of get in our own heads about stuff except especially Virgo if you are a Virgo moon you're definitely a thinker regardless if you're a moon or a rising this Virgo energy comes comes to you and it's like you you have these lots of thoughts it's about thinking but you guys are very intelligent you can figure out things you can swindle things if you wanted to and I feel like you're gonna be making a final decision this month that's very important okay and I feel like it has to do with this feeling tied down to whatever this is you're gonna make a decision you're gonna change things up with this okay you're changing it and whoever this is or whatever this is that's from your past, it's something you need to let go of. And you're just going to make a final decision. You know, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm not going to be around this person no more, whatever that is. But you do have people around you that will support you. Um, and I feel like in all reality, this is your middle card. This also could represent um, maybe somebody that is cheating, um, a third person, or maybe you're a polyamorous person. Um, this is usually only in a, in a reading of relationship, but maybe this is what this is. And this is why I feel like you have somebody from your past and you're, some of you might be in a relationship as we speak, but this person from your past is going to try to express their feelings to you and you're trying to be um, not listening to them but they make you feel a certain type of way and they you kind of give in to them maybe. And then after you give in to them, you feel this anxiety and maybe you do, um, you know, cheat on your mate, some of you might, okay? Um, but at this time, it doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna happen, it doesn't mean that, but it can mean that. Um, but you're gonna make a final decision and make a change with this. You're gonna make a change change your surroundings change your people that you're around um don't you know hang out with the same people that that person does um change that surrounding okay so we have this this is your general reading so let's see what we need to know for my virgos in a love reading this is going to be interesting with that reading right i think it's going to be very interesting we got some uh, cards there that were interesting. Now, what does my Virgos need to know for the month of August for love? August reading love. Virgos. Ooh. Love, love, love. in love let's see what we need to know for you guys all right so we have the first card is about a new passion now we're talking about love so some of you might be coming across a new relationship uh, some of you might be finding a new passion within yourself or towards your mate and sometimes we can you know rekindle our love with 
with the person that we're in a relationship with. Sometimes we feel a little caught up in everyday life and then you're like, oh yeah, that's why I'm with that person, right? Um, but some of you might be coming into a new relationship, new love, new passion. And then you have this card, this represents setting a goal and going forward towards that goal. A lot of times in life, we kind of forget what we're doing, we get lost, we feel kind of like we need to make a change. And this is about uh, focusing on one thing and putting a lot of energy towards it. So there's something that you need to be focused on, okay? And then we have this, this is about feeling overwhelmed, trying to get to the top of the mountain. Maybe there is something in your relationship life you're just feeling overwhelmed about. You're feeling like, man, I can't do this, whatever. You're feeling overwhelmed, okay? Maybe there's a lot of bills this month. Maybe there's things that you're trying to set these goals and you're getting to these goals, but it might make you feel a little, little overwhelmed, okay? And Virgos, you are about money. This is the pentacles and pentacles is about money, but it is about setting a goal going forward towards it and you feel this feeling of overwhelming. Now, it could represent, we could go back to this card in the first reading, which is about uh, making this, maybe you might have thought about cheating or maybe you were thinking about, you know, somebody else, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. This also is a, uh, talking about celebration, something that you're going to feel good about, okay? Now, this is about worries. Now we have this in the last one as well. So this is about feeling worried, anxiety, depression. And then we have this card. This represents feeling alone, trying to figure out what are, what are you gonna do. Maybe you're feeling a lot of energy of stress and overwhelming sensations because you have too many bills this month. And maybe your love life will about not kind of be on the back burner this month. Not back burner, but sometimes we kind of get focused on our money and usually relationships, a lot of the fight are to do with money or sex um, so that is about what arguments are usually about now the next card is about a message coming forward towards you and this is about that feeling um, disrespected somebody bringing you these feelings and it's like you want a change so it's about making that change and feeling like you need a change okay and then we have this this is about a male that is uh, very um, it's like he either has money or he's a male that brings stability to you, makes you feel good. And it could be the person that you are, some of you might be having a new relationship with. Maybe this is you as well. This could be um, you uh, having this money because look, we have money here. We have money here. It's like you're setting this goal. You're working hard. You're feeling a little stressed out, feeling kind of like you're worried about that money but then in the long run I think at the end of the month you'll be doing good with money but I feel like most of you are going to be more focused on your security this month your stability money um, but I feel like in all reality uh, you're gonna be stressed out worries anxiety and that's definitely you guys Virgos you guys are those worry people they, you worry about a lot of things and it's just because you want things perfect you want it the right way um, a little OCD you think of things a little bit too much and anxiety is definitely a Virgo trait so at this time I feel like you're just gonna be a little bit overwhelmed feeling that anxiety but in the long run at the end I feel like you guys are gonna bring stability at the end of the month you might be feeling a little bit of unbalancing energy kind of feeling this overwhelming but in all reality remember at the end of the month you're gonna be feeling a little bit better with your stability and and definitely in love we need that stability definitely in, in relationships but a lot of you might be more focused on money instead of your love and your passion um, so that was what why I had for you guys for this month and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Deuces!